In this video, we are going to create a app such that it can receive the push notifications. And first, we are going to create a project by using export in it, and we name it as Expo Push. And we choose blank. Now we can go to the project by using cd dash push. This is the folder name. And then we type code dot to open the VS code. Now you can see inside here, this already have some code here. And if we go to the expo documentation about the notifications, we can see there are something that we need to import. One is the notifications and the other is the permissions. So we also import this to our project. And next, we are going to create a register for push notification functions. So at here, we create async function and register for push notification. And then we create a constant, the status. And this is to raise the permission status. So we use await permissions dot get async and permissions dot notifications. And then we are going to check the status. If the status is not granted, then we are going to ask for the permissions. And if again is still not granted, then we are going to alert to let the user know that you haven't start the you haven't permit to get the notifications. So we type alert fail to get the push token and then we returned. And if it also passed here, we can get the token by using token dot await notifications dot get expo token async and dot data and then we return the token now at the start of the app and we just want to register for the push notification when it first rendered the app so we are going to use the use effect so we need to import the use effect and then at here we create use effect and then since we just want to execute once so we need to add a square bracket here. And then at here, we execute the register functions. And then we want to get the token. And then we catch the error if there is error. So now we are going to start the app by expo start. Now we go to scan the QR code and open the Expo client. We haven't installed this, so we have to stop the server by using Control C, and then we use Expo, install the Expo notifications. We also have to install the Expo permissions. So we type Expo, install Expo permissions, now we type expo start again. Now we scan the QR code and open expo client. Now inside the terminal, you can see the push token. Now we can copy this and we can go to the push notification tools and then we paste the push notifications and we type hello hello again now we minimize the app and then we click on the send a notifications now you can see the notifications appear.